So what is the difference between having a coaching conversation with a qualified coach compared to having a chat with your friends or maybe a psychologist or a therapist? So if you don't know who I am, my name is Crystal Kosanovic and I'm a mental performance coach and I work predominantly with professional athletes and uh, high achievers. And something interesting, someone asked me the other day, oh, you know, like, are you a psychologist? And I said, no, I'm a mental performance coach. And they're like, oh, well, you know, why would, what's the difference? Why does would people go to that or whatever? And I can't quite remember what they said, but I just remember thinking, oh, that's quite a good question. Um, so the amazingness about a coaching conversation and the scientific reason, I mean, I'm, I'm all about science. Like everything I do is grounded in neuros neuroscience. Um, even things about emotions, it's all grounded in physiologically how our body works. It's just really rad. So the thing about having a coaching conversation versus let's just say you're talking to a friend. So if you're talking to a friend about a problem that you have, um, the listening is different and the, this advice and sometimes maybe unsolicited advice or maybe it's bad advice. Maybe it's like, oh, this person, like they're not listening. They, they, know, they don't even know what it is that I need. So the thing about having a coaching conversation is the first thing, not many people actually give their problems space. So they don't give it time. You might think of it in the back of your mind while you're driving, in between calls, whatever the case may be, but you're not actually giving your problems some really delicious thinking, like some really great thinking. And in a coaching conversation, you're actually giving yourself the opportunity to, to think things through. So, and very often it's rational thinking. So the reason it becomes rational is because when you are speaking to someone, and this is very cool, I learned about this uh, towards like the beginning of my training and I thought that is so amazing. So did you know that when you are talking to someone and you are feeling heard, and you feel like they understand you and you feel like they're not judging you, your survival brain calms down. The lizard brain, some people call it, or the reptile brain. That part of your brain actually calms down because there's no threat. So you're, you feel safe. And when you feel safe and secure and like you're being heard and not judged or being heard just to be replied to, you actually have really beautiful thinking because you're shifting from that part of your brain that's on alert to your prefrontal cortex, which is where all your creativity and your and majority of your um, positive emotions live. So it's where you can be creative and you can brainstorm and you can problem solve without emotion. So without those negative emotions that might pop up and you know you have a thought about something and then you feel tense and then you start going down this like really dark rabbit hole so when you're working with a men's performance coach you're giving yourself allocated time to problem solve you're talking about things that are very relevant to you and the person sitting opposite you their agenda is your agenda their agenda is not to be heard it's not for their ego so i'm not there to show you that i know stuff I'm there to listen so that I can ask you a question about the thing that you're talking about that can help you problem solve. Because very often when you give someone advice, you're giving them advice from your lived experience, from your bias. So if you were in that position, this is what you know you are capable of doing. Whereas the other person may not have the same self-esteem, resources, they may not feel like the thing that you're saying would help. We very often have like two separate conversations when we're talking to each other because we're not listening. So a coach is trained to listen to you very differently and not to respond to you based on what we think. It's always based on how we can help you think. So you have very clear headed thinking um, and very often people talk about having epiphanies. So the difference between a, uh, a coach and a psychologist is that psychologists and therapists, they may talk about trauma or your past or about healing. Coaches, while it feels very therapeutic because it feels so nice to be heard, that feels so awesome. And it feels so nice to have no judgment 
um, when someone is sitting with you. So that feels really amazing. But it's not about talking about your past. Very often, if my clients start talking about the past, I bring them back into the present and I say, okay, cool. Now that we know that that's there, what can we do with it? Uh, it's very solutions focused. So I hope that answers your question, especially the person who asked me the other day. And um, yes, I'd love to know any other questions that you might have uh, about men's performance coaching. And if you would like to set up a session, please contact me directly. Have a beautiful day.